hi and welcome to this very quick video tutorial where i'll be teaching you how to create a button here in figma and also adding micro interaction using variants and creating this button as a component so it appears under the asset panel to be used whenever we need it on our projects so to start with i'll select a rectangle and draw a rectangle shape Okay, and give this my rectangle some rounded breadth so it's a little bit rounded then next I'll sele select an ellipse you can either come here or just click on O to select an ellipse and I'll draw this my ellipse here and change the fill color fill for my ellipse to white also i would like to give this my buttons some effects so that it gives you this feel of depth i can do that by adding shadow under the effects option here and under the shadow i will give for the x-axis a 2 and the y-axis a 5 I would also like to increase the blur to probably an 8. Okay. And let's reduce the opacity to a 20 so that it's not too overwhelming. Okay, this looks good. So now this button I'm trying to create is for a home. It's a home button. So I'll add a text by selecting this text tool here or just simply clicking T on your keyboard and clicking on the screen. I'll type in home. And I'll change the feel for my home button to white also. Now using a plugin called Font Awesome, I will download a home icon. A home icon, which I'll be using. I'll place a home icon here scale it up a little bit okay I'll click on this home icon and change the fill to this gray I have over here okay and this looks good I think I should increase the boldness of my text to semi bold or I should leave it up medium. Yeah, medium should be okay. So now this button I've created, this button I've created now will be my default button on rest. I will select it and group it by simply clicking ctrl g to group and now the whole button is a group now selecting this button i come over here and create it as a component or you can simply click uh, on your keyboard ctrl alt k and it's created it as a component so now this button is a component which i will like to name here home button okay now i'll come here on the variants and create a second variant now that my first button is the default button which will be on the screen now this second variant is what i will use whenever it hovers i hover my mouse around so for the feel of this 
second button i would like to give this color the shade of color just a little bit and also for the home icon i will change the fill to that color i just selected okay now i will need to prototype this i come under the prototype panel here click on the default button and drag it to the second as i've just done and this overlay comes up giving you a variety of interaction details you could feel so i'll put is by default on click so i'll set this to while hovering it's a change to variant 2 which is this and the animation by default is also set to instant but i don't want it to be on instant i need it to be on smart animate now under the duration i'll put it to 250 micro milliseconds and in and is in and out back is in and out okay so my button is done at this moment but for us to present it i will need to create a frame let's use an iphone 11 pro max now remember i created this as a component so whenever i need this i just come under assets and i will see it there as a home button home button so wherever in my projects i need a home button i just come on the assets click drag and drop on my project frame to use i think i will need to change the color of this so that i will have a contrast okay so now i have a home button and let's preview this under the presentation now that it has finished rendering when we move our mouse over the home button you will see it changes color these are very very nice micro interaction you can add to your assets to make them look unique you can also make it that whenever you click on it, it changes to a different color before linking you to another page. I also created different buttons which do similar actions when you carry your mouse over them. They change, they change to different colors depending on what you set them to. So if you like this video by any means and you would love to see more content like this, please consider subscribe to the channel and hit the notification icon to get notified. Please like this video and share.